in this question you can see that Ali, Bobby and Charles had some stickers. Ali and Bobby had a total of 6,186 stickers. Charles and Ali had a total of 3,724 stickers. Okay, whenever I see this kind of arrangements, Ali and Bobby, Charles and Ali, can you see that there is this repeated name, Ali? So, in this case, it is called repeated identity because the name Ali is repeated. Let's move on. Charles, okay. Um, before I move on, whenever I see some question, I will also be expecting that because Ali is, expect, uh, is repeated, there will be a third sentence that compares Bobby and Charles and let's see if I'm correct. The reason why I know is because this is how this kind of question is always structured and you can always prepare them before your exam. Yeah? So now Bobby Bobby here had three times as many stickers as Charles. And this one is from here. See? Can you see the pattern now? Normally they have one name that is repeated and then second and a third name and then in the next sentence it's always comparing between the second and third name in this case so how can i solve it okay probably right now because i know that many of you have our book uh, which is problem sums guide for primary four and you can see here and i want you to flip to this repeated identity type 2 under page 60 and let's solve it using this book okay so you can see that in this case it's niner niner just like ali and ali in this case name 2 and name 3 in this case titus and nikki are name 2 and name 3 and can you see that name 2 and name 3? The sentence is always designed like that. Name 2 and name 3. Yeah. So, we always put the repeated name. In this case, Niner here. And let's go back to this. Let's put Ali here. Yeah. Why I cancel this off is because from here is the order is Charles and Ali. But I swap it and I put Ali and Charles so that it's easier for me. And... Because this book tells me that I have to put Niner first, then I put Ali first, followed by name two, Titus. In this case, name two will be Bobby. Then name three, Charles. In this case, name three will be Nikki. Yeah. So can you see that from here, the model to solve this kind of question is always, always, always the same. And the steps are almost predictable because all you need to do is to find a difference two units which is top minus the bottom and in this case two units happen to be two units two top minus the bottom and the difference is two units which is 6186 minus of 3724 equals to 2462 and then teach your child that after you see this you always find a value of one u the step from here to here is always the same. Yeah, find the value of one unit. Then back to the, the formula book that you have. How much money did Niner have? Okay, normally you can either find top or bottom, but I'm I know that I have the value of one U, which is 80. I just take 260 minus of 80 to find Niner, which is from here. And I do exactly the same thing. 3724 minus of one unit here and to find Ali. And this is the reason why many children have told you that or have shared that with this book, maths becomes much easier because we are finally um, we are able to finally lay out the types that your child should study for the exam. And you can definitely find all this here and just follow them like that.
and it's so easy for the children.